Good morning you guys. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana. So today I am going to be decorating my kitchen area and eating area for Christmas. So I thought I would bring you guys along for the process. So I have this little Christmas tree, this little kind of Adirondack Christmas tree in the corner of my kitchen by the dog bowls actually. And I really wanted to use all of my DIY ornaments, my Ray Dunn inspired ornaments, and some of my other actual Ray Dunn ornaments on this Christmas tree. So I am just going to decorate this little guy. So I found this ticking stripe ribbon at Walmart. It was in the clearance section a couple months ago and I have just kind of put it away. And it's actually perfect because it is black and white. It really goes well with all of the Ray Dunn and Ray Dunn inspired ornaments. So it wasn't a huge roll, so I'm just kind of putting a little bit of ribbon in the tree, the same kind of process that I do, that I did with my um, Winter Wonderland woodland tree in my office. So I'm just adding a few little strands of ribbon in here, and then I'm gonna decorate the rest of it with the DIY and Ray Dunn ornaments that I have. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better So I found this garland at Joann's and I think it's beautiful. I think it looks so realistic and it's got the slightest bit of, I guess it's flocking. I mean, it's a super light green so I guess it's kind of supposed to look flocked, but I just thought it was so realistic. The branches feel realistic. It has the pine cones and it was only, I got it on Doorbuster and it was only like $6.74 uh, um, a six foot piece of garland. So I thought that was a great deal because I can't find garland that I think is that nice for that inexpensive. So I got that and I put those up there. And then I have these little um, fairy lights that I put up there. And then I have this Christmas tree sign that I got from Walmart. So my thought for above the cabinets is kind of like a tr Christmas tree farm. So I have so many little Christmas trees. So I kind of wanted to display them on the tops of my cabinets. Don't mind my husband, he doesn't like to be on camera, but occasionally he'll dance a little tree across because he was handing me everything. So anyways, my thought was to make this like a little Christmas tree farm. So I can't stand putting garland on top of the cabinets. It just takes so long and it's such a tedious task, but I do love the end result. And because I don't like a ton of stuff on my cabinets, I really like to decorate up above them so your eye is drawn up a little bit also. So my husband is super nerdy and techy. I love him, but he's super nerdy and techy. So he gave me a 12 volt battery to power my little strand lights. So that is what I'm using if you saw me put a bigger battery up there. And it's really nice because they do last about three to four weeks before they need to be charged. And I pretty much leave these lights on at least on the weekends when we're home all day. And then they're always on every evening and they are remote controlled. So we can use one remote and it will control all three strands of lights. Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories, oh, oh, la da 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 oh, oh, la da 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 oh, oh, la da 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 making our Christmas memories. tree 
And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories So like I said, I don't like a ton of decor on my countertops, but you know, it is Christmas time and I do want to make it look festive in here. So I have these two little trees in these tin um, containers that I found from Marshalls and I think they're adorable. I love the containers that they're in. And my husband built me this little mini towel ladder. I mean, you can buy them for about $12 to $15, but literally for $3, he made it for me and I love it. So I just hung that little towel that is from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. And I think it just matches perfectly with this, my whole little Christmas tree theme that I kind of have going on in the kitchen. Christmas memories. So moving on to my favorite little shelf here, I definitely wanted to keep the glass canisters up there. I love them. I think they're super farmhouse looking. They're practical right there. I use them all the time. So I had that little sign from Walmart. I hadn't even taken it out of the packaging. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it. I really didn't like it there. I felt like there was just enough other signs there. So I just didn't want to keep that there. So I'll probably end up returning that. So I kept this pretty neutral with some pops of red in there as well. And that's basically how this little shelf came out. I think it's cute. I really like it. Um, for now, that's how it's going to be. It, like I said, it may change. This is all kind of a, you know, first try at how the decor is going to go. So there could be some small changes that you definitely will see in my home tour. I love these little ceramic houses that I've collected from the Target dollar spot over the years. I just think they look so pretty when they're all lit up at night and I like that I kept the windowsill white and kind of neutral. Yeah, 
So I found this little rug at Target and of course the dog had to come try it out the second I laid the rug down. Every animal in my house, and I think it's just every animal in general, loves to try out the new rugs. So she found it quite cozy and gave it the seal of approval. So I'm just putting on the finishing touches here in this last little section by that little tree. Um, if you guys watched my coffee bar, that's over on the other side and that is already all decorated and complete. Um, there is a video on that that I just posted. So this is the last little area that I wanted to do for this evening and uh, I'm super happy with how it came out. I think it's cute and I just added a few little pieces to make it a little more Christmassy. Okay, you guys, here is how the kitchen has come out so far. I haven't really put anything besides that little candle on my island. I will probably do something there, and I will be able to show you that in my home tour. And most of this should stay the same. My little artificial cake is there on top of the refrigerator. Still need to decorate that, so I will, you know, get the stuff for that. So I'm super happy with the um Christmas tree farm that you know kind of decor that I put on top of my cabinets so because I like such minimal on the countertops I you know wanted to draw your eye up and I just think it looks so cute so you know kind of a different vibe than I went for last year last year I had the wreaths in the windows and I had a lot more on my countertops and I just you know it just makes me kind of anxious to have that much stuff on my countertop so I put a couple things but you know, I didn't want to do too, too much. So um, once I do my full home tour, I can tell you a little bit more about where I got everything, but you guys can definitely ask me down in the comments down below and I can tell you where I got it, you know, if you're looking for it before I do my actual home tour. But, you know, I just think everything really turned out so cute and pretty simple, which is, you know, really just what I was going for. So let me know what you guys think and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. I hope if you're new, you'll consider subscribing and have a great day and I will see you next time.